Well, folks, it certainly looks like they are finally coming for Big Poppy. According to recent reports, law enforcement and security agents at the state, local, and federal levels are getting ready for a possible indictment of President Donald Trump as soon as next week. So, let the games begin. These agents are carrying out preliminary security assessments and deliberating over potential security arrangements around the Manhattan Criminal Court situated at 100 Center Street. The discussion revolves around the chance that Trump may be charged with an alleged hush money payment to good old Stormy Daniels and could travel to New York to face the charges, if any. As PJ Media noted on Friday, it appears that the upcoming preparations for Donald Trump's arrest are being designed to maximize their impact on the media. Because of course they are. The intention is not just to arrest Trump, no, 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 but to handcuff and perp walk him, creating a highly sensationalized event. Yet another brilliant move by the deep state and their media allies, I'm sure this will play out exactly as planned. That's sarcasm, folks just in case you, you know. But if you think about it, this really should come as no surprise, especially considering the pre-dawn raid of Roger Stone's home in 2019, complete with CNN on the scene at the ready, and the unprecedented raid of Trump's Mar-a-Lago last year. So far, really nothing the radical left has done has managed to stop Trump from being either legally able or politically viable enough to seek the presidency again. And it's reasonable to see how those who have been trying to get Trump for something would resort to political theatrics and create a media spectacle. But what will happen if this actually takes place? Indicting Trump alone over ridiculous charges would backfire dramatically on the left, but a made-for-TV crime drama with Trump as the star would most certainly take the word backfire to an entirely new level. And folks, that's not just according to me. That's according to Elon Musk himself. Quote, If this happens, Trump will be re-elected in a landslide victory, Musk tweeted in response to a report about the potential pending arrest. Now, it's not yet clear if this arrest will indeed happen, but for what it's worth, Stormy Daniels has not had a lot of luck in her ridiculous grudge against Trump. In 2018, she was ordered to pay nearly $300,000 after her defamation suit against Trump failed spectacularly. But if we assume for a moment that it does indeed happen, I think Elon Musk is dead on rights on this call. Radical left-wing public officials have been trying for years to indict him for something, anything, abusing their positions of power to launch investigations in search of a crime. Last year, after the unprecedented raid on Mar-a-Lago, Trump's approval rating went up, not down. When Democrats impeached Trump over a freaking phone call, his approval rating also went up, not down. So prior to 2016, if a candidate had a pending, much less an actual indictment, it would have been a huge blow to their credibility, right? And almost certainly the end of their candidacy, because we assumed it was legitimate. Former Trump campaign lawyer Gina Ellis noted on Twitter, quote, Now, because of the Democrats, no reasonable American trusts the legitimacy of federal law enforcement, nor should they, unquote. Trump did issue a statement on Truth Social. Here it is, quote, It's time. We are a nation in steep decline, being led into World War III by a crooked politician who doesn't even know he's alive but who is surrounded by evil and sinister people who, based on their actions on defunding the police, destroying our military, open borders, no voter ID, inflation, raising taxes, and much more, can only hate our now failing USA. We just can't allow this anymore. They're killing our nation as we sit back and watch. We must save America. Protest, protest, protest. Now, in the aftermath of the initial announcement, I interacted with several people who brushed the coming indictment off as another silly quote, the walls are closing in moment. But the more I think about it, I think that might be naive. Trump's all caps post is not being made from a position of confidence about what is transpiring, and that should be obvious to anyone reading it. 
Clearly, there is a possibility that he is really scared, and he's wanting people to take to the streets and take action to stop what's coming. To be clear, I don't blame him a bit for being fearful, if he is indeed. I know I would be if I were in his shoes. Just look at the J6 prisoners. He's facing a deep blue Soros district attorney's office that has spent two years ginning up a legal theory to go after him with, on a charge that almost no one else would be hit with. And if you think about it, it's unlikely that they would be following through with an arrest at this point if they didn't really at least believe they had the goods. So what does that mean in practice, the, the goods? In this case, don't have to mean a sound prosecution. It just has to be a prosecution that can convince a far-left jury in Manhattan to vote guilty. That effectively is the biggest threat to Trump right now as it stands. He can have the best defense in the world, but it probably won't matter given how hated he is in the jurisdiction that is targeting him. You know, I hate to say it, but just being honest, a lot of smart people, far smarter than me, can make a lot of very smart arguments against this prosecution, but if the deck is stacked before the game even starts, it will all be for naught. Wherever this ends up taking the country, one lesson should be clear. If you are high profile enough to be a threat to the Democrat Party, do not stay in left-wing jurisdictions. This kind of lawfare isn't going to stop. The left will do anything for power, as we all well know, up to and including bastardizing the legal system for political gain. Republicans need to balkanize, protect themselves, and be willing to use the same tactics being used against them going forward. Things are about to get real. Now, I'm just giving you both sides of the coin, folks. Maybe this is all a wash and Trump just walks away laughing. It would not surprise me a bit. But even if so, one of these days, these sick bastards are going to perfect this legal manipulation, and that's a scary damn thought. Another observation, if you will. Now, considering how completely ruthless this treatment is, considering how corrupt and outright third world banana republic, how Stalin communist Russian-esque this truly is, where the hell is Ron DeSantis condemning this bullshit? Where is wokester Nikki Haley or good old Mike Pompeo or fill in the blanks book deal carrying Republican presidential candidate on this horse shit? Nope. Crickets. The deafening silence says so much, doesn't it? Gotta love these out of left field, can't plan on, can't really script situations to really show you what we are or who we are voting for. So in closing, Certain rules in society will always apply. At the end of the day, Americans react accordingly when they see blatant abuses of power. And if Democrats insist on abusing the justice system just to carry out their partisan grudge against Donald Trump, they, not Trump, will pay the ultimate political price. Most of this came by way of PJ Media. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. There's a PayPal link in the description box, so please put a dollar in the bucket on the way out the door. I'd like to thank everyone for all your donations. They're much needed and much appreciated. Now, with all that being said, we'll see you next time. Hi. Come on, move. Move. Easy, easy.